I grew up on the west side of Chicago around Pimps and Holes, Simon Cadillac, though. Okay. My mother was in the sex trade. Mm -hmm. She was dead at 35 years old. And I've been on my own since I was 16. And what saved my life was art. Ended up in the military at um, 18 years old because I was basically on my own, didn't have anything. And the military at that time, as it is today, was a poor boy's Hamstertown employment. And I was on the bus going to basic training at Fort Linwood, Missouri, the southern uh, base. And I was reading Paul Robeson's Here I Stand. And Paul Robeson, as you know, was one of our first revolutionaries and, um, uh, in fact, a student of W.B. Du Bois. When I got off the bus at Fort Linwood, Missouri, I had Paul Robeson's book in my hand, and his big, serious black face was on the cover of the book. And the drill sergeant saw, because was, this was the time of HUAC, House on American Activities, and he saw Paul Robeson's face. He snatched the book out of my hand. There were about three black men. They separated us, and the rest were white, young white draftees from the South. <clears throat> he separated us, and he snatched the book out of my hand, said, all you women up against the bus. Now, there are not any women there, it's just men, but the whole sexism thing was how you begin to break you down and make you into what they want you to be. But I learned something that morning. I learned the power of ideas, that ideas and the creators of ideas and the carriers of ideas run the world, and everybody else run after them.